In this video, we'll discuss multifocal wave designs. It's important to note that wave multifocals are all front surface multifocal designs, so the multifocal optics will be on the front surface of the contact lens. We have three design options, which we'll go over in detail, center distance, center near, or segmented. And to create a multifocal, you simply enter the add power in the Spectacle RX box, and then you can adjust the multifocal position on the front curvature view of your contact lens design. You'll see you can add a multifocal to any wave design. You just want to ensure that the lens centers well. So on the screen here, I have three identical lenses opened up, and I'm going to make each of these a multifocal. So in the spectacle refractive box, we can simply put in our multifocal. Let's do a plus 150. You'll see once we add that in, we have our option of center distance, center near, and segmented. So on this one on the left, I'll keep it at center distance. In the middle, I'm going to do a center near. And on the right, I will do a segmented. As we look at all these, I'm going to go to the front curvature view, which is the upper left quadrant view. To make it easier to see, I'm going to select on the drop down front curvature just to make that view larger. Front curvature, front curvature on the center near and front curvature on the segmented. So what we'll see here, the center distance, we have our distant zone is in the center and on this front curvature view as this line starts to increase up, take a look at the power of a minus 818 centrally, or 820. As we get to that bump, the add power or the distance power starts to decrease. So we have our center distance, and then the reading at picks up as we move further away from the center. Center near is going to be the exact opposite. You'll see centrally we have now a six, minus 670. And as we get to this line, we drop down, and the minus power gets higher. So we have center near, and the distance correction increases as we move further away from the periphery. Now on the segmented, you'll notice as we come down to the inferior portion, we have our center distance, and then as we get to this bump in the line, it starts to increase and we get more of our reading add. If we come to the superior region, we really don't have any reading add. So the, set, the segmented design is actually more like a center distance with the bottom half having the multifocal portion. One of the issues with wave when designing a lens uh, in this fashion is that the lenses really do not translate that much. So they're not really a loose fitting lens. It's a large aligned contact lens. So the, uh, the lens doesn't quite move up into this reading ad when the patient converges. That's why the center distance and center near are gonna be the design choices most often used for wave multifocals. Now that we've seen the varying styles of multifocals we can use, and we've been through how to design lenses on varying types of corneas, now we just have some basic designs open here, and we'll incorporate a multifocal into them. So first we can just take a look at the topographies I'm using as our model. They're fairly straightforward. And I'll pull up the right lens here, the design similar to what we've done in the previous videos. And to incorporate a multifocal, we simply click on the RX box and plug in the appropriate add power. So here I'll put in a plus 150, and I'll choose center distance. It's for the right eye and do the same exact thing for the left eye. Plus 150 defaults to center distance. I'm going to stay with that. And next, if we come to the front curvature view, which is in your quad view, is the upper left, you'll notice we have this red uh, control point called the distance pupil size, and it's currently set to 3.6 millimeters. You'll also notice this little bump in the curvature line here, and that's really where the add power picks up. So if we set our control point out to 3.6, the add power will begin at about 2.6, about a millimeter smaller. So a good general rule to follow, we see this green vertical line, that's the pupil indicator line. That's based on the topography. We can usually just slide this in to right inside or right at the pupil line. And that usually gives us a pretty good multifocal size. If we come to the left, we'll do the same thing here. 
And Wave allows you to control exactly how large you want your multifocal size to be. So for troubleshooting purposes, if you put this lens on and say the distance vision was a little bit blurred, but the near vision was, was good, you can simply pull this out a little bit, give the patient a little more distance vision, pull out some of the reading, and that should improve. Um, alternatively, you can adjust the ad power. So if you wanted more ad power, simply select it increase the ad, and hit continue. And that's how we control multifocals on just about any wave design. So whether you're designing a lens on a, a keratoconus, a post-lasic, a post-transplant, really any type of lens, as long as you have a well-centered contact lens, you can add a multifocal to the front surface optics.